Mwanze nimeuliza Dr. Beverly eh, kama hii career yenu what sets you apart ya neurosurgeon na other surgeons or other other careers ni kushika tu kitabu. As in ukishika tu kitabu usome usome vizuri you can get to that level and you say no. Si kweli. Kwanza the first thing to answer na definition ya neurosurgeon. Neurosurgeon yes. ni mtu mwenye specialize kwa, kwa diseases ambazo zina affect the nervous system. So hiyo ni kichwa the yes. whole yani uti wa mgongo or the spine alafu nerves zote mpaka zinakuja kwa vidole vyako kwa minyo kwa miguu na kila kitu kama hiyo so the first thing is kuna hiyo knowledge base lazima ukwe na ujuzi ina ile information lakini ya pili these are you, you need to be somebody who uh, is constantly challenging yourself to learn new things huh? so we're constantly reading he's reading i'm reading all the time you work in a team and then you have to have perseverance it's a long journey what kwa kenya understand marathon Neurosurgery is a marathon, not just the career, but also many operations are long, um, delicate. So that's the thing, attention to detail. Una follow say from the time they come through your clinic to the time you discharge them. There's a lot of things in there that are medical and surgical. So for me, it's just an amazing career, but it takes a lot. A lot of time. Dr. Peter Kitungu, the yes. first thing to give vibe naye kwa simu akaniambia, ah mimi hata ni mtu wa East Lando, nikajiambia, ah, <laughs> interesting place to start from East Lando mpaka neurosurgery post. Mm. Eh, ni ukweli, but unajua kila mtu akona story yake na storyline yake. Yes, so yes, it yes. just shows that it's possible mm -hmm. dependent doesn't matter where you started from kufika mahali unataka. Yes, mimi yes, nimezaliwa East Lando, nimezaliwa Buru, nikalelewa karibu na Umoa hapo Tena Estate, yes. nimeenda shule zile ambazo ziliniwezesha kufika hapa and then just persisted. I just kept going and going and going and at the end of it it's it's a possibility. I'm enjoying my life, I'm enjoying my career and I'm enjoying the patients when you want trust me take care of them. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Another story yeah, kila mtu anaweza make it. Uh, Lafu Dr. Beverly, uli, uli, you mentioned something that uh, it's very important that we remember that see your brain peke yake. Unajua wengi wa neurosurgeon, ni, wanafikiria anga neurosurgery ni brain peke yake, mpaka spine. So science ya spine, under, uh, my understanding, ideally ni, ilikuwa ni kama attempted mkia for human beings. Like, <laughs> it almost... Ni more complicated than that, huh? So ukijiona kama ni network system ya yeah? kuna yes. ile ka CPU pale kuna my information inawekwa yes. lakini lazima kuwe na connections to the rest of your body yes. so spine ni super highway ya yeah, information information from your body inakuja kwa bongo and information from your bongo directions kusa ile kufanya so the neurosurgery covers just not just the nerves but also the bones around it ukifikiria bones ni kama your architecture around your highway yeah ah. so we deal with trauma Mm -hmm. uh, watu wakianguka sijui ni nini tofauti we deal with tumors yes. tumors of the spine both in the bone and within the nerves itself and the covering of it in it yes. um, we deal with uh, when you are born in your mother's womb eh, in the first trimester so 0 to about 14 eh, that's when your nervous system in equa together yeah yes. so the challenges that come with abnormalities of that we deal with that as well which means a neurosurgeon can take care of you even before you are born because when your parents are being counseled about what this disease means, as guys are involved, mean telling the parents this is what to expect, this is what we will plan to do when they are born. In some countries, some even surgeries are done when you're in your mother's womb. Yes. So there's a lot of different things we do. Um, so I've talked about trauma, we talk about degenerative spine. Kila mtu unajokama nyumba, over time inashida zake. So even you and I, over time our spines itakuwa tofauti. And that can result in pain, abnormal posture, okay. so uh, yeah, so we deal with the brain and the spine and the peripheral nerves. Okay, sawa mm. sawa. Dr. Kitungu, yes. ukifungua, we ni neurosurgeon, mm. ukifungua mtu kicho ukienda ukiangalia ni nini noma, unatere mkana spine na kisu ukiangalia, uki, ukipata noma ingine enye haiko kwa nervous system, unafunga unamuambia wenda sasa uone daktari wa kitu ingine. Uh, I wish inge kwa raisi hivyo sana. Uh, kile su usema ni, before upange kwenda kufanya operation yote uko na plan so uko na plan ya umeona mgonjwa before kuna picha zimepigwa ume discuss with the relatives and with the patient themselves objectives of operation ni gani yes. so unaenda specifically kutafuta kitu One very specific thing unajaribu kuitafuta na we sort sawa uh -huh. now 
that that's where i'm saying iko kwa easy vile unasema ufungue hapa upate hakuna shida ufungue pande nyingine upate hakuna shida I, i keep saying we work in very tight spaces so hata yeah. kazi yetu mingi ni kujaribu kufika kwa hiyo shida bila kusumbua the normal structures yenyewe so yes. ni eh, if i can sema tu kitu hapa tuko naambiwa kwa ni rosajo nikaa kwa bank robber <laughs> <laughs> ukiingia lazima ujue vile utatoka au yeah. ah. ingiangi tu So kuna ile plan ya kuingia pale hivyo kufanya ile kile unataka kufanya alafu utoke bila ku cause any harm ama bila kuacha any eh, signs out ulikuwa pale. Yes. So again kama nafanya cause the patients naona wako na shida za neurosurgery na wako na shida zingine. Yes. Kuna subspecialties wengine. So wow. before hata nianze kufanya kazi yangu yes. I've involved that we call it a multidisciplinary team mm-hmm. we come up with a plan pamoja then tunaenda. Sio kufungua tunafunga hapana ah, okay mm. yeah. sawa sawa na but bado mimi ni ama simple minded man doc mimi mm. fungua uh, akili ya mtu by by now in your line of career yes tunafanya hivyo haha mimi fungua akili ya msee ama kichwa msee ukapata vile watu kusema oh jamaa ana akili for that Sir. for you what does that mean <laughs> <laughs> first of all you you, you need a question about the difference between the brain and the mind Yes. Yeah? So brain kuna scans tofauti ambazo unaweza kufanya ambazo zinakupa a lot of information about the person. Yeah? So ah. unakuja for CT scan, MRI, sasa tuna vitu kama PET and all this. So hii inaweza kuniambia over time huyu mse uh, total volume yake imepungua. Lakini Bo, unajua size ya akili. Huh? Size ya akili. <laughs> so <laughs> all of <laughs> us over time tuta lose uh, the size of our brain. So if you look at a nine any ukinipea two scan naweza kukuambia roughly how old that person is yeah because over time you lose brain matter so your the scan of a child is very different from a scan of a teenager is different from somebody in their 40s and 50s it's different to someone who's in their 90s lakini mtu akiona shida tofauti unaweza pata uko kwa accelerated program unaona unaangalia una mte unasema you are 50 lakini brain ime, imeenda Naje unataka kuwa polite but mtu mzima ako na utoto. Ah, si ati kuna utoto. It's a bit more complex than that because kuna ile the way your mind works na kuna ile life choices mtu amefanya, So you need to fight it through your brain and your mind. Your mind ni uh, so your brain ni just the brain itself. Ile unaangalia gross the anatomy. Structure. The yes. mind is the sense of self. Yeah. Ah. Pakiru unajua sasa mimi ni mimi nimejielewa nimefanya hizi choices yeah. Ah. So part of that is vile brain yako inafanya. So some people lack the ability for complex thoughts. Okay. You see shadow ni hivyo tu ame wasamehe. Wa, wa okay. But then for others ni the personal choices umefanya. Yeah? So that's a very different thing. It's not that you gonjo. Hiyo ni ile choice umefanya. Okay. Mm. Sawa. Na, na Dr. Peter. Mm. Dr. Cheserema alikuwa ameniambia ati wakati ni intensive care kuna parts za brain zenye ni specific for certain functions like kama mse labda alikuwa anapenda kucheza piano ati kuna place piano ikiguzwa ina respond na sasa ati when you're operating on someone ni muhimu sana usi usitampa na kitu hata place ya language so hapo ndio nikakuwa curious that yeah. ukifungua akili ya mse alafu uko hapo ndani una get mm. your place ya language mm kuna vile unaweza guza mzee amke akiwa mkisi na alikuwa amelala <laughs> yes na, na kuelewa yes nita try to simplify kidogo i think the, the the brain itself is 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 a beautiful organ wonderful yes yote ukiifungua ina about the same hmm. ukiangalia iko i think hata daktari akona akona model kidogo hapa hmm. aikuangi green <laughs> hii tu ni model ya ya kuonyesha hii ni standard size ya akili Ah, ah hapana ni ndogo zaidi ya yeah, an adult brain. An adult brain is slightly bigger than this. Yeah, takwa mtoto pekee 4 years. 4 or 5 years. Mm. Oh. Eh. Yeah. So an adult brain is slightly bigger than this. Mm. But ukiangalia inakaa ni kama haina any distinctive marks. Unaona yes. tu iko na bumps, iko na yes, some trenches yes. but they all look the same. Yes. So one of the things that you do kama una, unasoma actually medical school wacha kufanya neurosurgery mm-hmm. ni kitu inaitwa anatomy. We teach yes. you the structure itself and then you link that with the function. So the brain ina kuanga na specialization chani iseme hivyo certain parts zinafanya certain things kuna yenye na kusaidia ku think ku calculate kucheza chess ku make complex decisions yes. kuna place yenye na kusaidia kusongesha vidole kuna yes, place yenye yes. na kufanya ku, ku interpret kile unaona okay, okay. so macho inapata hiyo hiyo nini hizo uh, signals lakini ikifika kwa brain brain ndio ina interpret inasema umevaa shati ya black 
tie ya yellow yes. t-shirt eh, na shirt ya white yes, yes, so yes, each yes. of them is gonna specific functions language is very complex language so just the connection itself mm. because it's a land it's a land uh, oh, skill yes, so yes, over yes, time yes. you'll make connections as you learn a language utapata watu wao wana learn languages faster kushinda vile ukijaribu kufunza kufunza mzai french but yes. a child would pick it up very quickly especially when in that environment yes. where the language is being used a lot so it's an immersive uh, sort of experience in learning that language so siwezi kukugeuza ukuemkamba by ku kuzamani eh atika wire plan hivi nafanya huyu anakuwa muitaliano lakini hata sisi tukipanga operation yetu tunajua mali the place ya language iko yes. so a huge part of our work yes. ni ku avoid his places in his kona what we call eloquent function kazi yetu ni ku avoid kuongeza anything ugonjwa hai kuongeza so tutoe ile ugonjwa yenye iko bila kuongeza any other defaults na from how he speaks ugonjwa ni basically my basic understanding ni a foreign object kwa system yako uh, not completely so uki break down kizungu mwingi lakini disease is this is when muli yako yako pale inatakiwa kuwa so it can be caused by different things kuna ile kuna kuna virusi for example the moment tuongea juu ya covid so kuna virusi ambazo zinaweza kuingia kwa kwa mwili na ingia kwa bongo inaweza kuwa ni hitilafu ya damu so mishipa ya damu hiyo ndio tunasema wakati mwingine kama stroke Yes. Ina kama super highway inaleta oxygen inaleta chakula nini nini lakini iko na blockage ama ya haitoshi then you have a vascular problem so you know vascular diseases yes. Yes, yes, kuna zingine ni vile you are formed eh? wakati ulikuwa uki, ukichukua kama ni ka, ka typing typing inataka kufanya hivi corrections yes. alafu ina, inaanza ku miss ina, kuna kuna typing error lakini body body notice those are now the genetic abnormalities that can happen in your brain and can manifest a lot of times kwa mdogo lakini sometimes when you are a bit older and therefore a lot of kunaft kama tumors a tumor by description ni the cells of your body zinatakiwa kuwa zinafuata certain discipline hapa yes. nita multiply hapa nitakaa alafu ikifika this stage yes. zitadai yes. but a tumor is unprogrammed cell, cell growth so yes. badala hiyo ku stop inaendelea ku grow in occupy oh, space haitakiwi yes. occupy yes, alafu yes, because yes. the brain is delicate iko na closed box yes. ikifika iki certain size inaanza ku affect the other functions how you move how you talk even who you are your mood unaweza kupata mtu iko na low mood because uko na growth at a particular place ah mm. okay ni interesting sana leo mm. tume confirm wasi wafupi wanaweza kuwa ni typo <laughs> nini <laughs> <laughs> na doc yes kwa ulisema surgery mm. wase wana work as a team yes hakuna ati eh, wewe ni neurosurgeon umeiva hiyo job mm. design unaweza kuwa na patient wako na ndio eh, unaweza pitia home ni kufungua akili baadaye tucheki vile mambo itakuwa zin si job unaweza fanya one man hakuna job unaweza fanya one man nitatumia ni first example yako yes. you run a very beautiful show everyone anajua hii show ni ya dr kingori thank you au run peke yako ni ukweli so, uh-huh. so it's the same thing even with what we do um, and that's what we were having a discussion i think before tuanze yes. that there's a whole pyramid of people that are beneath not beneath that are alongside you who are supposed to help you do your work safely wanakusaidia ufanye kazi yako safely ah, yes. from diagnostics wewe sio wa kwanza watu wataona umgonjwa mm-hmm. kuna mtu atamuona kwa ile hospitali iko karibu na ye or you know a health center so there's a, a, there's a referral system yenye tafanya mgonjwa afike kwako akifika kwako mi nimemuona kuna picha nataka sijui kupiga hiyo picha si nitatuma kwa mtu wa picha so yes, I send yes, to the radiologist yes. or the radiographer who will do the scan and interpret it yes, yes, yes. aya nikishamaliza hapo there is a whole team even during surgery itself who just ensure that i have kwanza kila kitu nahitaji yes. for this patient na zinakuja at the time zenye nazihitaji you know it's almost surgery musa it's like a dance of bali it's, uh-huh. it's a very coordinated uh, process even the scrubness niko naye hapo yes. lazima ajue kile kunipatia saa zile naitaka in a certain way just to make my life easier cuz niweza kwa nisimama hapo for 9 hours yes. so unajua ukiwa na mtu ambaye mnafanya kazi naye ni poa uh, then beyond that even after the surgery itself mgonjwa lazima chungwe there's a nursing care there's a icu care there's rehabilitation kuna physiotherapy kuna speech therapy there's a whole team Mm-hmm. that allows me to be successful nikisaidia mgonjwa so ah. sio one man show na haiwezi kuwa okay. so siwezi kuchukua ni ku plug ni kutume to some arid place yes, useme yes, yes. nitafungua vichwa chini ya mti 
Ah. Unaweza fungua lakini usifungue. Yeah, na still on the same breath <laughs> kama ulikuwa kama ulikuwa kama ulikuwa una umepasua msee kichwa eh. na hii code yako uko na hapa nasi. Mm. Kuna vile labda unaweza ku overwhelmed uite cleaner kukatie na fulani bora tu ajue kushika kisu na yesi mlevi. Hapana. <laughs> kile kile tunaweza sema ni kwanza sisi amongst ourselves as colleagues. Yes. Atuko wengi and we work as a team. Yes. We work as a one big team yes. yenye we consult each other ukiwa na kesi ambayo ni mpya ama kitu ambayo E, ungetaka ma- maarifa kwa sababu kuna mwingine kuna maarifa kidogo kukushinda mm. on something then kuna cases zenye hata unaweza amua mnafanya kama team mm. seme ni kubwa ni mrefu ni sensitive sana naita bev dr chesere mapa na muita tuna, tunaanza surgery pamoja ikifika mahali we can tuna, tunaweza kusaidiana ah. lakini hata ule unaita kusaidia lazima kuwa anajua anakata nini wapi <laughs> and how fast ah. so sio 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 cleaner ah sawa yeah. sawa alafu doc when it comes to um, diseases for example before you fike you mentioned something very important in our conversation before yeah when uh, operating before mtu afike operation kuna hizo early detection yeah and how they help yes kwa sababu before ifike place tumor iko kuna signs zenye mtu anafaa ku watch out for ukuwe rada you need to go get checked out and how does it help So mara nyingi watu wanajua wana shida tofauti tofauti katika kiafya. So kusema ukiumwa na kichwa ama una shida ya kuona ama una umekufa ganzi ama shida yote na citizen everyone should just go and see a doctor and the doctor should then do the relevant um, tests and then when they, those tests are done then they are fed to us. So the difference with a neurosurgeon is see, see at, we're not your first port of call. Yes. No, normally umeshapitia mikono ya wenzetu doctors yes. and nurses and stuff the difference it makes ni kichukua mfano ya stroke so a stroke ni when there is a uh, blood age a certain station yeah okay. so there are treatments in this country so we offer it in um, agakan and it's offered also in Arabi hospital in itwa thrombectomy yeah pali kama kuna clot tunaweza kuitoa the international guidelines show that to kikuona within 24 hours yes. one in three people wanakuwa na benefit wanaenda kuishi independent lives no, no, that's a really important well, thing yeah yes. ni kama in, kitu kingine ambao both kitungua na i deal with ni vitu ambazo ziko around the pituitary karibu na macho yeah a lot of people come to us when they have lost functional eyesight sasa unaona tu taa na nini but if you come to us early then we can operate on you and you can restore your sight or at least preserve your sight ina kupea a lot of independence unajiosha una drive ni nini ni so na sisitiza ukiwa na shida enda kwa daktari to your healthcare facility mapema and then we are in the major hospitals in um, so I'm in Aga Khan he's in Kenyatta Kenyatta University uh, the, the Moi teachers in Eldoret the guys in Kisumu in Mombasa come to us as early as you can so that we have a chance to give you back your health okay If, if I can just chip in, mm. I think that's such an important point mm. yes. that I just felt, even if you give me one second, yeah. I just it's chip okay, in on okay. it. Because as she's saying, one of the things that we, we have find a challenge is our patients come rather late. Yeah. Majority of the patients have come late. And uh, it's what we call our health-seeking behavior. Mm. Yes. In Kenya, atasema amerogwa, ama atakunywa Panadol, ama ata... They'll do everything to try and postpone kuenda kuona daktari. Yes, yes. Because the in, initial symptoms, even let's say a, mm. a tumor, are usually very subtle it's mm. a headache that's not going away it's vision ambayo inaanza kupotea ama masikio iko na shida mm. or just a little bit of weak by the time you starting to get weakness kwa mikono mm. na miguu that's actually relatively late mm. so that headache ambayo make it's persistent yes don't ignore it go see a healthcare provider they can assess the risk whether you require further investigations and then eventually mm. whether you require a referral to a specialist so it's about Kenyans themselves being aware that hata kwa ile hospitali ambayo iko karibu na wewe kuna daktari ambaye akikuona atakueleza kama ni kitu ambacho una need to worry about um, na kama una need further treatment na, na ukisema hivyo most Kenyans fear hiyo kitu ya ati ukienda kutafuta kitu utapata hiyo kitu unatafuta people eh, kidogo tu also people fear ile ya ati ukienda hospitali uko sure uko sure watakwambia unahitaji operation na mtu wako like nasi nimekuja hapa nikitembea operation tena ya nini kile kile mimi sema ni afadhali utafute uikose kushinda useme sitaki kuitafuta na ikue. Unaelewa? Ukisema ati mtu anaogopa kwenda kwa hospitali kwa sababu anasema kile unatafuta utapata. Mm-hmm. The opposite means is that you, you don't go to the hospital, you stay with the problem that you have for long, okay. alafu ikuje yeah. ikue imezidi, ikue imezidi kwa muda. So I'd rather hata mm-hmm. symptoms ikiwa slight, nenda hospitali, nenda onekana. Hakuna mtu ambaye atakuona pale atakufanya chochote ambacho cha kukudhuru 
kama ni matibabu unahitaji utapewa kama ni anything una need utapewa kama ni imaging utapewa kama sio kitu ya kuwari about unaambua nenda nyumbani rudi baada ya muda fulani tuone kama iko iko oh. bado ya pili ya kuongezea kuna magonjwa mengi ambayo tunatibu we don't deal directly with surgery mm. but the earlier you come with it the more options you have unaona mm. so yeah. mtu akikuja kuniambia i have this problem that problem we have time to do the tests and also to consider the non surgical treatment okay. so in a, it's for your benefit as well kuna various conditions i can investigate and tell you this is the timeline yeah also it gives you time to think one of the things what will are very difficult is if they see you in an emergency and there's no time to really process the earlier you ha you come the more time there is for discussions for preparing you for get, getting all the options ready so we want to see people as early as possible Uh, and when when nikiangalia numbers uh, there's only 37 of you in mm. this country right uh, serving uh, almost 50 million kenyans mm. does it mean that hizi maugonjwa zi wait in turns msikuwe overwhelmed as in ati au uh, madaktari wako sawa so uh, muko na enough tumors to deal with alafu sasa ndio ziingie zikam how do you deal with a population ya so so uh, you you've mentioned it yourself there's a huge there's a huge uh, shortfall of neurosurgeons we have yes. 37 for a population of 50 million ni ratio kidogo sana 1% to 1.4 million 1 to 1.4 million so how ni watu wengi sana kwa mtu mmoja ku take care of yes and the 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 number has grown recently tuna increase slowly and i think i'll give a little credit to my seniors the ones who trained us kufika mali, mali tuko we actually have training programs ambazo tuna train watu so we are trying to change that ratio as we go along so ah. so even within the country even the country we have we have a number of programs that are training neurosurgeons with the hope of sending a neurosurgeon to every county in this in this republic and that's a short term goal so that's actually going to be achieved short so hopefully term. short term like we, we will some for how long do you a full neurosurgeon eh labda ni kuhesabia pole pole nianzia high school ama primary nianzia primary high school eh 10 years 15 Let me put it this way yes. kutoka nianze med school yes. it was 13 years kutoka niingie kampo 13 years yes 13 years eh. na hii short term ni hata mimi naweza kuja tu as long as najua kushika kisu ama ni eh. med school mandatory lazima uanze undergraduate med school so lazima med school lazima kuwe daktari mm -hmm. kwanza mm -hmm. so the process of being a doctor ndio tunasema undergraduate so ukimaliza kuja kuwa daktari become a medical officer fanya kazi ya internship then ukuje masters masters yenyewe ni 6 years So eh ukishamaliza kukuwa daktari ni, wacha tuseme ina kuanga minimum of six years so mm. eh, 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 <laughs> so minimum of six years so ukishamaliza unakuja and then we'll we'll train you but ndio i think daktari alisema at the very beginning you must be passionate about this you must be persistent about it eh sio vitabu peke yake it, it requires a certain sort of personality mwenye yuko willing to run marathon mpaka mwisho okay Yeah. And, and doc mkiwa kwenye how's your work environment unajua me i have fun in my work environment na nikisikia kitunguu dr kitunguu at first alikuwa ana sound msia na enjoy pia job yake na hata pia ukisikia mtu kwanza kwa simu yako ni pia ni passion on another level so pale kwa kwa ile kwa ile kwa ile room yenu how free are you guys like inaitwaje like mna kuangana hiyo nafasi ya have fun all siji all work kama mesema uwezi simama 9 hours at 9 hours peke yake kwa kichwa wa msee at nini nini mnakuwa na have fun like ha <laughs> hii <laughs> I think I think the truth is neurosurgery is a lifestyle rather than a job. Mm. Yeah, it's a lifestyle rather than a job. So like when you're on call anything can happen. So there are times when oh okay that's okay. And then the next thing you could be dealing with a you know an accident victim or somebody who's going off and stuff like that. So you must enjoy being willing to go and see people at very short notice. Um okay. then we have people we see in clinic and in clinic you might you know you're dealing with such a broad spectrum. Kuna watu wanakuja and really utako ukimfanya tu reassurance unasema yeah tumeangalia tumepima everything that's fine on the other end will be the people who operate and now you're giving them feedback and then there are others you'll be like okay this is difficult the treatment cannot be only neurosurgical or the treatment is not appropriate in neurosurgical so una una direct the right way as a team you, we really um, you have to enjoy the job yeah so we you work well with your colleagues and not just your colleagues who are neurosurgeon as i said this is teamwork so every day I interact with people that you know of different specialties icu anesthesia ane neurology you know it's it's a varied day you know ophthalmology okay. so you must enjoy variety you must enjoy a challenge you must also be the kind of person who's willing to plan because we must plan but you must also be flexible about your plan so that's how our days are 
Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Dr. Kitungu, if I could trouble you for that mm. brain, you know. Yes. Sio yangu. Sawa. So, nilikuwa niliangalia hii kitu, uh, I'm like if this is someone's brain, yes. you have studied it inside out. Yeah. Mm. Like uh, specifically na najua watu wana nawaulizia hii swali wanajua mm. bangi inaenda ngapi wapi kwa hizi parts zimeandikwa hapa kwa corpus callosum na thalamus. So bangi is a um, Bangi, that's an interesting one. Bangi haingi kwa brain. Bangi haingi kwa brain? Mm -hmm. So you are demystifying your kitu ya bangi ufanya watu wa kuenda wazima. So that one, I, I would recommend uende kwa watu ambao ufanya nga neuroscience and uh, psychiatry. It's not really neurosurgery. Ni Unless different. you want to offer an answer. Uh, to, hey, Dr. Kitungu, wana za juwa. Wacha to send me the right message to a youth wa Kenya. Yeah. Bangi waribu brain. <laughs> Lakini sio kazi ambayo neurosurgeons tuna deal yeah. nayo. So a huge part of it is because it's a drug of abuse. Kuna vile ikishatumiwa whatever form someone is using it, it's broken down into its components. So again, it's not my area of 40. Yeah. It's not my area of 40. But it will get to a eh? sorry. CRT at when you guys open the brain namna jua mkisoma how a normal brain is mm. you can open alafu useme corpus callosum ya ujamaa iko na bangi as in it's not you see, what, what, to kiangalia, when to ki, after to kifungua brain to kiangalia, we're looking at the structure itself. You're not seeing the functional aspect of it. Only mali ambapo, kwa sababu there are so many things that make it fire. Yes. Okay, so there's something in it with the limbic system, ambaye is especially for things of satiety, things of uh, um, reward and pain, and that's where most of the drugs mm. of abuse would would work there because they're giving you a certain sense of of satiety or or of stimulation ambaye ndio unaona mtu anatafuta kisa yote anaenda akikuwa addicted towards the drug itself lakini sio kitu ambacho mtu wa upasuaji mimi ni mtu wa mkono mimi kazi yangu ni kazi ya mkono sio kitu you are being modest na umekuja pale nilikuwa nataka please yenyewe unasema hizo drugs zina touch on the part yenye inakuanga inachangamuka ikisikia brain so wewe ukiletewa patient na unajua ujamaa amengangana na cocaine for some time unajua ukingoaka ka kitu ataamka akiwa sober is that possible no it's not if it was that easy, I think it might have been offered to as a solution for people who have going who've gone mm. into addiction. I think mm. the best person to answer you those questions yes. will be a neuropsychiatrist or a so, psychiatrist. Na na ukifungua kili ya mtu kuna please ukienda you have to be very careful to unajua kuna waya ukiguza anakuwa mwenda wazimu. So first of all it depends what you define by mwenda wazimu yeah. So if you just help me with the brain uh, and the other half. <laughs> 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 so the, the different parts of the brain do different things. So yes. the cerebellum deals with your movement. Um, the back here is to do with your vision. The temporal lobe on the side is to do with language and emotion. Um, the parietal lobe is about sensation. And then the frontal lobe is where you have uh, not only movement, but you also have your personality. Yeah. So even the definition of madness varies from time to time in different societies. So it's a very wow. complex thing. I can't answer you with one question. Wow. But in terms of the way what we kuelewa, and then afterwards we may change, yes, there are parts of the brain, if you touch, somebody might lose their executive function, you know, the ability to make a decision. And then they, are, they, they can't really make a decision. The other parts, if you touch, they lose your inhibition. We all have thoughts that unafikiria lakini tu Yes. Now that thing can be shut off. So unasema tu what comes to your mind, you know? Auna break yeah. Ya so ya. it's very complex ukisema. The term when is something that I'm very careful about because it's about mental health. It means different things in different mm -hmm. people. And so I, we can change how you function, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't necessarily put it the way you have because it's, it's, it's much more complex than that. The brain oh. and the personality and who you are is much more complex than just a part that you touch. Ah, yeah. so it's not like at kuna kuna different places where you are inflamed. When you say, "This guy is evil-minded," as in there is no at a specific. That's the separation between the mind and the, and brain, the brain as the. Yeah, so we, yes, you're asking questions that are more to do with neuroscience and neuropsychiatry. So Those are the people who can answer that about alternations of behavior through changes in the biochemistry of your brain. Okay. A neurosurgeon is a little bit different. Yes, so we notice Practical. changes in personality. And so there are things that we can do for some of them, not for all of them. Okay. But it's a much more, that's why Tunasemanga all the time, we work in teams. So if somebody came to me with that kind of question, I would immediately call my psychiatry friend yeah. and my neurology friend yes. because you want to do the right thing for them. A neurosurgeon deals with diseases that can be managed with a surgical, sometimes 
may need a surgical intervention. For the rest, we hand over to our colleagues because actually that is the right thing to do. Ah, yeah. we're going to talk about key to doc. Hey, look, I wanted to add, yes. what, the way you, you're trying to, mm. I think ni kujaribu ku simplify sana. Mm. Yes. Eh, kuna vitu ambavyo, yes, can change your personality, specific even lesions in certain parts of the brain, mm. yes. zinazas can change personality ya mtu. And actually that might be the presenting uh, mm. symptom. Mm -hmm. uh, operated on a young man mwenye kile symptom alikuwa nayo ni alikuwa akipoteza job za yote. Mm. He used to be ah. a very, yes, he used to be a very responsible young man, alikuwa church elder, alikuwa kwa choir ya, 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 ya kanisani. Mm -hmm. Then he just started having headaches for a long period of time and started changing the personality of who he was. Could not retain a job, could not keep his word, uh, started getting forgetfulness. If that is seen earlier, unezo kaona, she, she even knows the sort of tumor nasema because of <laughs> mahali ambapo yiko. And, and he had a mm. just a specific type of tumor. By the time I was operating on him, I think his social fabric had broken down. Mm. And yeah. he's doing very well. He's picked himself up, he's, he's moving on. So you all have these stories, but it's not a simplistic story at iniki gusa hapa, nafanya kengori ya nze kubehave kama sijui namna gani. It's just, mm. the brain is a lot more complex than that. Your example, yako ilikuwa, vile mara ya kwanza ulianza ni ilikuwa like, wow, you can solve unemployment through uh, neurosurgery. <laughs> that would be an expensive way. <laughs> <laughs> you can touch. But, uh, doctor, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that would be a very expensive way. Uh, but honestly, in your, in your, in your academics, yes. you can actually tell a fool when you... <laughs> <laughs> Kingori is the same as a therapy session. What do you want to tell us to scare? As in, ni vile mwezi sema but unaweza fungua mtu useme jamani mjinga sana. Hapana, hapana. Mwezi sema as in it does not show physically. It's beyond that. It's beyond that. Sometimes you can look at the anatomy of the brain and understand that somebody's function for higher functions imepungua because of the disease process. You always kusema this person is anini. You ni shida ame, you know, through the disease process ama vile ameumbwa. But we don't open, nimekwambia kuna mind choices umefanya. Kila mtu amepewa kipawa. So the way you used it, do in a determine if you're a fool or not. Mm. And that is not something a neurosurgeon deals with. That is the personal choices you've made. Yeah. <laughs> as in, I think for the six years as a med school, first of all, the four years is an etiquette. Yani, mtu wa get to seme the way it is. Ningumu, 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 ningumu. But nakwambia the way it is. Yeah. Because the, co the concepts of Nauliza are very complex. Like intelligence. Yeah. It's an extremely complex thing. It's, uh, it, it, because you can be intelligent in one thing, and as you're saying, a fool in something completely different. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so it is a lot to do, yes, with the structure and the biochemistry and the function of the brain, yes. but also your exposures in life and what mm -hmm. what what you the, the nurture that you have. So you can't, as we always keep saying, you can't judge a fish by asking it to climb a tree. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. yeah in that sense, that fish is stupid. But to kwa maji, kweli. Iko. Na 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 challenges na challenges on the job. Tuseme kama in Kenya. We kwanza ulitoka UK. Nilimuuliza. Alitoka UK. Akifanya the same job. Which I believe ama I assume you would have made more money. Ukarudi home. So the, the choices that you make in life are always more than just about the money that you make. I think if you look at anyone who's successful. Yeah. Whether it's Kipchego Keino or anyone that you think is your hero. If only money drives you, then you don't get to the next level. So wow. I came from here. I went to the UK and then I needed a new challenge and I came home. Why did I come home? I think there's so much to learn. First of all, uh, the way you practice medicine is within a certain cultural context. So, nimekuwa munafunzi tena. Nikichukua mfano. So, in the UK, everything is measured in, 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 in distance. Nikikuliza how much pain you have out of 10. Uneza kuniambia five, four, things like that. But actually, if you think about our languages, that's not how we measure mm. pain. Ukimuliza mtu na kuambia, nikona uchungu kwa mbali, ama iko uchungu wa panini. And yes. that's not the same. So how we experience medicine is different. So for me, it's an exciting time to come home. I am learning a lot. I'm also contributing, and there's a lot for me to contribute into and learn with my colleagues. Tunanza, you know, ni kama relay race. There are those who went before us who started medical schools. There are those who yes. came before us who started residency programs. Sasa now it's for us, what is the next level? We want, we want to train more people. Yes. We want to make the services available to more people in our country. Yes. We want to make it easier for people to get treatment locally um, and to get the right advice so that they can be treated in their, in their cultural context. When okay. I pour down in their home, instead of having to fly out. So there's a lot of opportunity yes. and the, the privilege of coming home. I don't know what you think as well. 
if, if I could get every trained professional who's Kenyan <laughs> out there to come back home, yeah. I'd want them to come back home. Wow. Because there are solutions that they, that they can offer our people and yes. there are solutions that yeah. we need. Mm -hmm. So yes. her coming back home is extremely encouraged and would want uh, to encourage people to do the same train a little bit more. Yeah. We already agreed that kuna shortage kubwa. Yes, yes, so kifukuza yes. huyu, so umepunguza tena mmoja. <laughs> eh, na umesema sasa Azim, the 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 the, the course is so intense yeah. that only 37 people can be neurosurgeons at this particular moment. No, yeah. to deliver a quality course, yes. you have to train a few people at a time. Mm. Yeah. Oh. So, wezi kufanya ati, tutafanya mass lecture, tunde uhuru park, alafu kila mtu, ebu andika after me, no. They, it's an apprenticeship, which means unamtunza mtu very carefully yes. to learn how to examine, how to treat, how to plan, it's kuna vitu mob. So, the average course in the world is somewhere between five and eight years. So, I did an eight-year program and things like that. So, what we need is the more of us, then we start to amplify. Okay. Uh, we have a couple of training programs. We need more uh, okay. so that we can get, we need at least a couple of hundred, you know, maybe four or five hundred people before we can say we're even near where we are. So 37 to 500, there's still some work to do. So, the, as in, so from what uh, Dr. Cheserem mm -hmm. says, in Amanisha, <coughs> Sometimes, this shortage ni kwa sababu ya quality, not necessarily see what to see enough when you work on a brain in the summer brain in Guinea. Actually, that's the truth. The, the number of opportunities to train are limited by the resources and the number of trainers that you have because you're unafunzwa kwa one on one. Mimi na mwalimu wangu, akioparate, mi na kaapo hivyo na e, nikioparate anani watch, nikiwa when I was in school. Mm. So it has to be a complete one-on-one -on -one because there's a transfer of skills, there's a transfer of knowledge, and there's also a transfer of attitude because mm -hmm. there's a certain way that you're molded to be yes. ni ukwe kwa profession yetu. Unaelewa? Yes. So uh, to easy train, as you said, a mass class ya miatano. So it'll be, even the classes that we have, average, tukisama tukona class kubwa wako to sita. That's a Aye. very big class. Mm. Six people is a, is a very, very big, big class. That's a very big class. Through my training, we were like one or two. Usually, yeah. two to three. So you'll, you'll find six, seven, mm. eight. If it's too much, most of them three, two, three, two, four. Now, how do they select? Like, uh, you have doctors. When you're a and you're masters and everything. Yes. So, so many are called, you drop out uh, voluntarily. Ama, <coughs> you, are, you get selected. So I'll talk about the... Because I trained in the UK, I'll talk about the UK process, and then he'll explain the, the Kenyan process. So yes. in the UK process, they have a national selection. So you put in your application in December, and then sometime in March, there's a, all of you turn up. Sisi tunachagua soldiers. Everyone turns up, kuna, kuna things. Yani you had like 18 stations. Part of them are interview, part of them are practical skills, part of them are situation, nini, nini, nini. And then you're all scored. And it's a combination of your CV and what you have achieved. So you've had to have published, to present, and stuff like that. And, and how you do in that assessment process. And it's everything from how you suture, how you, you know, your manual dexterity, how you deal with uh, situations. And on average, they select, the time that we were selected, they were taking 17 people for the whole of the UK. So you have 32 centers, okay. and okay. each center will choose one or two a year. Okay. Um, and then as you go through, there's still that uh, kuchujwa. So you still have a process of being taken through various different things, and then you're assessed every year. Every year you have an assessment, and then in the end you sit on a fellowship exam and then you finish. So that's, that's a UK process. Okay. Uh, you'll take about the Kenyan Yes, process. so I have the privilege of being part of the trainers of, yeah. of the neurosurgeons around, yes. and we are also involved in the selection process. So the mm -hmm. first part of selection is you're a doctor. Yeah. So you're a doctor from a reputable university that is recognized by the program that we're running, and then you apply. So from the application process, there's a lot of things, your papers, your transcripts. Mm -hmm. So we want, uh, even amongst the doctors, we want an above average mm -hmm. student uh, from the undergraduate itself. So we want someone who's you know, smart and, and willing and hardworking and with good results. But that's just the first part. Then you'd call, you're called to an interview process. So the interview process, again, ni tukona watu kadha. So walimu wangu, my seniors, my mentors, myself, my colleagues, all of us, a whole panel, and we go through quite a number of steps to identify the ones who are eligible yeah. to join the program. And then from those, we look at the number of spots we have and we pick the best candidates. Um, a huge part of it, uh, we used to have like a small saying when we were in med school, before we release you to the unsuspecting public, it is our job first to protect you. So we must pick the very best and we must give them the best training. Yes. You can, you have every reason to trust them. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. You, there's a word you used uh, in, term, in terms of skill. Yeah, ska? 
Oh, Scap dexterity. Yani, uh, what I mean by There's a word. There's a huh? word. Scapulating. Ama there's a word. I missed it. Kidogo. How Paul? Suturing. 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 Ah, suturing ni Oh, suture, suturing ni kushona. Ni kushona. Ah. So, so basically, ile, ile test wanafanya is your eyes and how you, you, you know, they're looking at how you pick instruments, how you handle tissue. Because wanata kamtu mwenye ana appreciate kuwa delicate. Yeah? Kufanya the right choices na vile mkono zake zinasonga. You know, so there's a lot more. Because, once again, not everyone can do surgery. You must have the manual skills as well uh -huh. to be able to do the job. Na yo, yo, as in surgery, in terms of technology, do you ever see a point ya technology itapanda mneza kuwa badale ya kufanya kila kitu handmade kuneza kuwa na chere ya ni sasa ya ku... <laughs> So the technologies that have already come on, yes. so for example, kama tuna plan where to open your head, we have neural navigation systems. The yes. way, easiest one is to explain, ni vile unatumia GPS kwa simu yako. Okay. It maps specifically where we should go. So that means that the openings that we're using are smaller and smaller. Ah. We're also using things like the endoscope and things like that. So kuna a lot of technology. Okay. In some parts of the world, tunatumia robotics sasa. Ah. So, um, say kwa hapo, tunafanya operation, mindi na control. Yeah? So, but the, the hands and the things like that is from the robot. So inafanya ikwe much more accurate, much smaller holes. But the future, which is where even Kenyans need to get into, we need guys to do neuro -compu computational stuff. We need people with technology. We want guys to come on board. When you meet, the, you meet, when you meet us on the street, say, hey, you know, I have this idea and that idea. Because we need a lot of technology yes. to solve the problems that we have in how we deliver care and how we provide it. Kuna, kuna challenges mob sana. Alafu wadau mean kwa nafikiria tume advance but uh, <coughs> there are other opportunities don't give up kuna hata ya kushapen visu cause last I had <laughs> kuna ati specialization ya visu zinaenda kushapen ya maju alafu ndio zirudi so find out more information about that alafu mi ukiniuliza um, expertise kwa sababu umesema mambo ya how you handle uh, your, the apparatus your mm. job the tools uh, Dif, mi, correct me if I'm wrong. Sa ingine mi usema blanda, alafu ni correct you, and yata wasi wengine walana. Uh, difference ya surgeon uh, na mama mboga ni ati, mama mboga na di na vegetables. In terms of how you hold the knife. Una get? Yeah. Nikitaka, ni mse kama mimi. Una get? Ile wale masajions wa kitambo wenye walikuwa na operaton watu ivo kimangoto. Na bado wana, wana succeed. Is this care na e much uh, training ni kwa sababu ya to save more lives ama kuna mtu tu anaweza fungua mtu kitu anaangukie na atomboe eh nita quote one of my mentors who says kufanya hii kazi you have to be mad you must have meticulous attention to detail hakuna kubahatisha uh, mm -hmm. i'll explain bila unauliza kama kuna mtu anaweza fungua na angukie most of the time utaangukia the wrong thing a huge part of what you need to do ni ku chunga the normal structures na kuziacha vile ziko kufanya kile unafanya na kutoka bila bila shida when i was in training i think i was in second year of residency nilikuwa kisi had gone for some wedding somewhere and then the groom's uh, trouser ilikuwa haikuwa na imefulfilliwa vizuri we went to, to a roadside and there was someone alikuwa na shona na mkono alikuwa na shona na mkono and i've never forgotten that image of that guy he was a very old mzee na vile alikuwa na shona hiyo suti Sijaona mtu akishona hivyo tena suti ya manguo na mikono yake. He alikuwa na mikono, dexterity and some ease and actually made the work look rather elegant. Yes. So it's something similar. Sisemi ati huyo mzee akuje kesho apply for hii course yetu. Mimi <laughs> <laughs> namkumbuka tu. But uh, it's something similar na hii kazi yetu in the sense that uh, sayings that we keep saying you need to have the heart of a lion by the hands of a lady. Yes, so yes, yes. kwe bold but yes. not not overtly bold ile ya how ogopi chochote yes. you're bold you can push the envelope a little yeah. but okay. the hands must be gentle your okay. dexterity mm -hmm. must be there every move that you make must be deliberate Aye. Eh. so so demystify one thing brain surgery ikifanyika mostly a person correct me if i'm wrong a person is awake unakata mtu kichwa lakini unampigia story <laughs> Unamuingiza vitu kwa kichwa lakini unamuingiza mastori makasi yako na makasi yako na msumeno kwa kichwa we unaingia kutoa chini unatoa how true is that so ile una describe ni inaitwa kitu ina awake craniotomy tuna we, we want to say thank you very much kwa madaktari wa usingizi anesthetist and anesthesiologist because wao ndio support in things like this most operations tunafanya mtu akiwa melala why we just want to, to concentrate on what we are doing and things like that that's fine yes. but we can now do things when half of you are asleep and sometimes when you're completely awake when you're uh, completely awake mpaka kuna kuna steps mpaka to follow 
Now, the reason why we will do you awake, sometimes it's because afya yako, and sometimes it's because unajua pale tulipo tukisema nataka kuchunga sana nisiguze pale inakufundisha kuwa Dr. Kingori hapo yes. sitaki uamke alafu useme kimeumana yeah. so <laughs> so we might do you as an awake if we're doing a procedure yes. to preserve those things that mean so much to you yeah but those are in very specific mm. operations and you will be counseled appropriately mtu atakwambia for this one i need you awake because of 1 2 3 yeah ah so mm. unaka hapo ni kama unatengenezwa ready mpaka iishe <laughs> so the, 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 tuta, one day tutakualika uje ndio yeah. sasa we could a little bit more demystified okay eh doc kuna sema kuna sema it's that's a very specific occasion as in it's, it's something that's, mm. that's 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 gaining traction right now mm. specifically for operations that is of places sensitive ukiangalia okay, mm. kwa youtube unaona mtu anacheza violin mm. ama anaimba or something that's someone who una operate somewhere that is so close to that skill that hiyo ndio ni kama livelihood yake mm. yes. so unaweza kamlaza for the be, for the beginning of the surgery the parts that you go through but once you get to the brain because the brain itself feels no pain mm. hakuna yes. pain receptors kwa ubongo yes. you lighten the sedation ya mtu na muamsha kuna mtu anaongea naye hapo mm. and then you're able to do it safely mm. so this is only a very specific, specific very specific, specific situation you do that and it's actually the minority of surgeries in Tanzania most of them out like a light okay before i let you go before to ambie um, your your lowest moment now probably your highest moment uh, what information do you wish kenyans would know as far as neurosurgery is concerned so we are in a privileged position to now have neurosurgeons in our country for a long time we didn't we want you guys to come and seek help for us ali ukona shida and you're not sure we would rather see you and and say you don't need our help and not just our help go to health care providers waku, wa, you know they examine you and things like that ukiwambiwa yes. fanya this thing in a particular timeline tunaomba uti tafadhali ili uje kwetu alafu tunaku explainia what we are doing because this we are here to serve other people and the problems that affect other people also affect us so we have a lot of privilege in doing what we do and we are very grateful asante mm -hmm. dr kitungu one thing that you would wish kenyans can know about neurosurgery I think ile ngeta kawajue kabisa ni the services are available. Mm. Yes. And available not just at Ziko karibu now, mm. available also accessible in terms of cost. Mm. Yes. There's a there's a thought kila mtu afikiria kazi yetu ni extremely expensive. Mm. Yes. Majority of the cases are, but there's a lot more right now that Kenyans can access through the power one of the NHIF, two of even the insurances they have or even that coming together. So kabla uogope kwenda kwa daktari kuja ongea na daktari atakueleza the options that mm. are available and the ones that would fit mm. what it is that you're able to to, to afford. Mm. Ah okay. Mm. It's such an interesting thing kukua kwa career yenye mnalipwa kupima watu wakili. It's very very, <laughs> very 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 good vibes. Your mm. lowest moment kwa job? I think it's never easy when you lose a patient. Yeah. Ah. You know honestly we we're talking like this but we we really care about the people we take care of because they're just like us. So when a result doesn't work out the way we want it to be, we also grieve for that. When something doesn't go according to plan, we grieve. And that's why we're very passionate asking guys, if you need our help, we are here for you. We just want to take care of you. Uh, yeah. I, can I assume that at the the worst lowest moment ni ku lose patient. Na umekuwa na hizo moments za you pre you actually prepare someone before m operate on someone you tell them that eh niaji unaenda kama umekutana na Yesu ama urudi huko kwetu so without giving patient identifiers i'll give you something that sticks to my mind karibu sana yes it was a young man uh, he, he came rather late yeah. tukongea na mzee it was a difficult procedure he actually did well after surgery and then akuendelea vizuri after that yeah. mzee akanipigia when he was burying his son to thank me to thank you to thank you for thank me for what, you, what we are everything to mejaribu tumeongea na yeye nini and the fact that tumetembea na yeye kwa hii jani yote mpaka mwisho mm -hmm. so that becomes a difficult situation because you know you've given everything to the ability ambayo uko nayo and you get here thankfully this is not common this is not every it's not every day yeah. yes, that yes, we yes. do this so um, as we talk about the laws mimi nataka switch there's a lot of highs because yeah. there's a lot of good that we do okay. and a lot of patients that you are assisting Okay. Mm. So so na, na na you doctors believe and this goes for both of you final thing uh, this goes for both of both of you yeah there are issues that muna mnajiambianga if this person had come early you could have saved their lives ama muna kuangana ile ya even ndio yako imeandikwa 
so I mean, the, it depends on what the problem is. But really, there are a lot of people that we meet. There are two things we want to do. One, where it is appropriate, we want to save your life. And there are opportunities like that. When you have a problem, we really have the skills in the country and the expertise and the team to take care of you. That's the first thing. The second thing is we don't want you to just live. We want you to thrive. That means that Ukiwana Shida Neurology, the earlier we see you, the more likely you will be to go back to the things that matter to you. Being with your family, your hobbies, your playing the piano or Kulima Shamba, whatever matters to you, we want to do our best to get you back to enjoying the life that you had before. So to know Mbanga Toto wakuje mapema, because yes, Mungu alitupa ile opportunity, ndio tuweze kusaidiana. Okay. Yeah? Mungu amekupeka, mwingine amepewa kipawa kwe mkulima, mwingine amepewa kipawa kwe fisherman, nini, nini. Sote kama community tunasaidiana, and that's what we want to do. We want okay. to take, you know, take care of you. Okay. Yeah. Same. Uh, hakuna ile ati, unawana kama the case you've given, wo kijana, as a doctor, you wish that ange come earlier, at the early stages, the story would be different. The, there's a possibility it could have been different. Mm -hmm. However, I think one of the things that he has you to show is, is it teaches you humility very early. Mm -hmm. um, not everything is in your control. Mm -hmm. uh, not, not everything is within your powers to change. So you wish and then you think it could have been different. But I think as Dr. is saying, a huge part of it is not just to save life. Mm -hmm. It's a quality of life that yes. now is a conversation that we're having after intervention or after treatment. So it's, it's about increasing the number of years, but also increasing the life in those years. Actually, if I could just make a comment, even in cases where we cannot cure, we can work to giving you the, a good quality of life as you come towards the end. So when people come to us early, you can have that conversation, Mapema, mm. and that gives you the opportunity to say, okay, thank you, Menyambia, these are my options, okay, these are the limitations, this thing is, is going to limit my life. The things that matter to me is one, two, three. Nikitukwa Mfano, when I was studying, there's a guy who had a particular problem, and there was not going, it, was going, it was not going to end well. So when we talked to him about it, there were things alikuwa kijipanga, I want to do this, I want to do that. Now when you're aware of that, you're like, you know what, I want to prioritize this because wakati bado ni kuna nguvu kuya kuongea na kufanya vitu, these are the things that mean a lot to me. You know, things about family, things about hobbies, things about... So we, it's a whole journey. We want to walk the journey with you.